Um, so find the average velocity. So again, guys, when we're looking at average velocity, we got to remember we don't need calculus to find average velocity. Average velocity, for instance, we have no idea what this graph you know, is looking like. But let's just say the first three seconds, the graph looks like this. Right? I don't know, whatever else. Instantaneous velocity is dealing with the tangent line. We've got to find the derivative, right? Average velocity is basically just saying, what is the slope of that line, right? So we don't need calculus to find the average velocity. What we need to understand is this is going to be the change in position over the change in time, right? So a couple things I noticed as I was walking around, a lot of you guys did not define that. I saw you guys write the, di like the difference um, quotient, but you didn't define it. So write average velocity equals. And then what we're trying to do is we're trying to find the change in time from 0 to uh, 3, right? So we'll do s of 3 minus s of 0 all over 3 minus 0. Okay, but define this. I'm seeing, I'm still seeing a lot of stuff out there, and I'm like, how do you know? Like, what is that? I know you guys know what you know what you're doing, but you've got to make sure you're communicating that. Otherwise, we're not going to be able to give you the points for that. So s of three is ended up giving you, who said that was? Three? No negative one? Yeah. What was s of three? Huh? Zero. Zero. And then oh, it's minus three. Then we have negative 1, and then we do have this in context. So that's feet per second. OK. So what is the context then of this average velocity? What's happening? Now, technically, we do know. Uh, actually, yeah, we can say. So what do we say? What's happening? What is the particle doing? Yeah. The particle is moving to the left at a rate of 1 foot per second. 1 foot per second, yeah. Or we could say that the particle's like position is like decreasing, right? You could say going to the left. Or if you don't want to be like specific like thing, you could also say that the position is decreasing at one foot per second. Does that make sense? And then to be even more specific, we can say on the time interval. So we can say, you could just say huh? Could you just say I, if, no, we want to make sure that we're talking about the interval that the problem is referring to. Because do we know what's happening at four seconds? So if you say on the interval, what are your interval you're talking about, right? It's very vague. So, on, we could say here, 0 to 3. Just don't write a interval. Make sure you define that interval. On the interval from 0 to 3, the particle is, and again, the reason why we're saying moving to the left is because it says it's moving horizontally, OK, is moving. to the left at one foot per second. Or you could say is, you could also say instead of that, you could also say is decreasing, or position is decreasing. And then throw that in there as well. Okay? But this this upcoming test, guys, I think almost